Okay, so finally, Kato doesn't suck. You know what I had to do? I'll tell you. Yes, this is a Kato 1943 on Kato track. And it's running like a top. Look at that, beautiful, nice and smooth, that was going really fast for a while, I then go real slow, I just pulled some stock, so it's all good, see, see how nice, there it is. That's a thing that all of them do, but whatever. I think it's got something to do with, uh, I'm not sure. Still a learner with this, but I'm very happy. So I bought this from a guy in Florida. Which I just bought some more, a uh, couple more Kato uh, Santa Fe trains. You know, the old uh, Super Chief with the other engine with it. I should be getting that this week. But this... This took me a month. The guy gave it to me. I put it on this track. It ran kind of like this, but not really. It wouldn't keep running. It had to go really fast in order to stay running. But it ran, and it was not as quiet as this. And I'm thinking, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. So, I picked the train up. Like a vise. And was taking it out of the room. Now, the house that this is in... Is an older house. So it has a... Uh, floor ventilation, let's just say. And, uh... The front trucks fell off and went right down the heater, and there was no way I was going to be able to get those, ever. So I was furious. I called the guy. He goes, I can't help you this time. You know, I already sent the back. You know, you know, sent two back, and this one worked fine. I go, yeah, but I picked it up after running it. One day, and the front trucks fall off. This is ridiculous with this Kato curse. This is both, so, you know. I put all the pro Arnold stuff out. And I got some, actually, only one jerk. And the rest of you guys, model train people, are pretty, pretty cool. They either don't say anything, or they help you. So, uh... Let's see here. Let me try something. So, anyway... Oh, I think... Uh... Uh... Well, now it came off there. So... Alright, let's, let's not be dumb. Come back. That's strange. Stop. Okay, so anyways, you can look at it. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that a pretty train? That is just a fabulous looking train. So now my next one is, what I really want, is the George Bush. Even though I'm not a big George Bush fan, I'm a, more of a Reagan guy. But, don't want to get into politics. But, uh, I like the way that George Bush train looks. And they're so expensive. But I found one for about 160 bucks. I'm trying to pick it up. But, man, that's expensive. <sighs> I mean, 
this when it came out was like a lot and then it went down now the George Bush not many people have those uh, I don't know if they call it the George H.W. or the George whatever. The George 41, you know, George the Jungle. But I really want to get that one. And then I'll have this one and that. And uh, the trouble is, these are so big and won't run on my old time, you know, 1980s uh, layout at all. The only thing that will fit is the old Arnold stuff, wherever that is. The smaller one, you know, like the, uh, these. These are the only ones that will fit on these curves. Especially when it goes around uh, the second level here. You can see it going now, alright. So we come around. And the bigger trains right here, they just get stopped. Crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. No way. I have to carve all of that out. I'm not, because it looks too good. It looks great. So that's staying like that. But, uh, so, anyways, I called up Katu. I told him what happened. They said, we feel very bad for you. If you would like, we'll send you the part for free. And you can fix it. Or you can send it to us. And we'll fix it. And we'll guarantee that thing is not going to fall off again. I said, please, do what you have to do. So I sent them that train. They fixed it. Sent it back. All within one week. So I'm very impressed with uh, the Kato train uh, company. And this was in Indiana, I think they're in. Pretty sure. So that was really nice of them to do. They, they only charged me for parts, which was like 14 bucks, I think. No shipping, no labor, nothing. So I think that's pretty cool. Now I got my Arnolds up here, and then I'll have some older Katus that can run that up there. And at some point, hopefully, I'll be pulling things instead of just, you know, whatever. But as you can see, I'm getting buildings, and eventually this will become something bigger. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be already, but I didn't think I'd get as addicted to it as I did. But now I'm just saying that that one Kato does not suck. I would say they may be the Cadillac of trains. And that this one is now a very great looking and running train on its own track. This is what usually runs on that track. I just put that little Behringer, Behringer, not Behringer, uh, Bear, uh, you know, the B one, Bachman, this little Bachman thing. I put that on the bigger loop and, uh, that's fine. A big loop with, what, one, two, three, four, five, Five tunnels, which makes it look connected to this, and so I'm, I'm happy. All right, so I'm just saying that that doesn't suck now. Cool, cool. Yay, Kato. Yay, Bachman. And yay, still for uh, that. The only casualty so far, as far as Arnold's, is I have one that is kind of giving me problems, and it's almost not worth fixing because they're so cheap. This one, so I just put it back into the uh, Katu one, but this one pooped out on me. 
it was giving me problems. I thought I fixed it. I sent it away on the lower track, and of course, it stops in the tunnel furthest away from me. Of course, this would do that. So I tried to push it out with these. Wouldn't work. Tried to ram it out with one of uh, with this one, actually, that's in there. And no way. So I had to finally grasp it with some, uh, you know, old person claws to pick up stuff off the floor. <laughs> Those are very handy for getting stuff. And, uh, yeah, this is my first uh, Arnold casualty. So I'll put it over here next to my Elvis H.O. collection. And you see, there's the caboose. I've got the whole collection of Elvis and H.O. But I don't got the room, sir. So there you go. Arnold and Kato and Bachman all living in harmony. And if anybody out there knows of another good brand. I don't know if Atlas makes good trains still. I mean, I used to have tons of Atlas. And some Tyco, but I know they're gone. But does Atlas make good trains I don't know and I hear lifelike is the worst junk train that you can buy I don't know if this is true I need people to help me out so there you go have fun jacks and jackets and you know keep training <laughs> later Toot -toot.